textbook. But I, you know, I, look, I, I think in any of things, things like this, we are far from perfect. Khan Academy has a million things that we need to improve on and that our team here is, is working on. And, and we love getting as much feedback from people to, to get better. But I think we want to create the best materials possible. And you're going to have different people use it in different ways. We definitely don't go to schools and say, thou shall use it this way. So a big part of what we are trying to do is just you know make sure that as many people as possible find as much value as possible. Well, we're talking here about schools who sometimes set your videos as homework. So let's hear a school in the UK near Weymouth that's using some of the material. Okay, look at this way. How many of you watched the video that you were asked to do? My name is Darren Markham. I'm vice principal. I teach maths and the school is the Isle of Portland Aldridge Community Academy. And we are looking at the nth term. What's N? Students are emailed videos prior to them attending their classes. The sessions then normally move at a swifter pace. OK, let's look back. What's the problem so far then? Let's follow on with the video and see what they What's agree with. Pattern? So we went down by six. We subtracted six. Then to go from nine to three, well, we subtracted six again. I think the style is quite informal. It was very natural and very normal. The students appreciate that because... Otherwise, they get to this perception that everything has to be perfect, and a lot of learning is exploratory. Did we do 200 add 1, or did we do 2? I am just plus 1. Oh, I get it next, really easy. I'm Finley, and I'm 12. I'm Rory, and I'm 12. I'm Susanna, and I'm 12. I'm Rosie, and I'm 12. So do you feel that you understand the concept now? Having the video before class meant that I had a little revision and I made notes and it was a lot handier knowing what it was about. It's more helpful because you can stop it and start it. You can go at your own pace instead of just listening all the way through. I find it useful because sometimes if the teacher doesn't explain it as well as they should, I can also go and revise more about it, not just the video. What are your thoughts on Sal Khan, the person who presented it? You can tell a little bit that it's not an English person with a normal accent. He wasn't exactly, like, really formal about it. It was kind of like the way that we would work. It's, oh, you've done this. Oh, wait, no, you're not meant to do that. I'm not going to edit this out of the video. I'm just going to show that this is a mistake that you can make because it's really easy to relate to the fact that that's how I work and how most of my friends work. So first, it was super exciting to hear that kids and teachers with British accents using stuff that was, you know, composed in a closet in California. <laughs> and they rightfully uh, categorized my accent as non-British. Um, and it was really heartening to hear these students talk about how they appreciated the fact that I'm willing to make mistakes and correct them in the video. This was really an example of a flipped classroom where they are getting a preliminary view of the material through these videos and then they're going deeper in the classroom doing problems or whatever it might be, going beyond the flip.